once more the church calendar sets before us the parable of the prodigal son and of course it is a call to us to repent an assurance of God's mercy if we do repent but the church fathers teach us that this parable speaks of far more than this the parable teaches about the whole of life the two sons symbolize good and evil the choice we have in life about the path we will take the father himself symbolizes his God and his kingdom and his blessings we're told in the story that it is the younger son who is presumptuous he presumes to lay claim to his father's inheritance it is a warning that we must make no presumption no claim on God in this way he owes us nothing in fact the opposite is true we are indebted to God beyond measure and he is the younger son because the church fathers remind us that virtue and goodness are more ancient than evil and sin the younger son then leaves he leaves his home a warning to us that we must not separate ourselves off from the sacramental life within the life of the church he goes off and lives with the pigs the pigs symbolizing the passions and an evil life and there he is hungry the husks the crusts that the pigs eat are not enough to satisfy him it is a reminder to us that the life of passions the life of evil can never satisfy the soul the inner needs the inner longing and hunger that the soul has can only be satisfied by God and so he decides to return and he repents his repentance isn't simply in the mind he acts on it a reminder to us that our repentance isn't just a feeling or a thought it isn't about self-accusation but it is about acting turning away from our sin leaving the life of evil behind us leaving the pigs abandoning the pastures which are the life of habitual sin and the father on his return kills the fatted calf Saint Gregory Palama says the fatted calf symbolizes Christ himself the father feeds the returned son just as we are given the very flesh of Christ to eat by God and the father dresses him in the best robe in the house not the best robe he used to own but the best robe in the house he elevates him he blesses him beyond anything he knew before it is a reminder that God's grace to the repentant sinner extends beyond anything that we have known previously this is the value the importance of repentance in the spiritual life God will bless us bless us beyond measure and so this parable then yes it teaches us to repent calls us to abandon our lives of sin most importantly it reminds us of God's mercy and God's forgiveness it reminds us that we abandon those things that are corrupt and will not satisfy the soul to return to the limitless eternal love of God